Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at champions123.org, and they have an infographic on why it's important to reduce food waste, specifically why it's important for businesses and how they can save money. There's also a detailed report that I'll link to in the description as well that goes into how they came to this calculation. Now, basically, they say for every dollar invested by a U.S. company, they get about $14 in return. They do this by basically tracking and measuring the waste and improving the management system of inventory, maybe changing some packaging to allow it to store for longer periods of time. And there, some of the ways they make money is they sell imperfect produce. Maybe there's people that don't mind if there's a bruise or if it's kind of ugly. Maybe it could be used for animal feed, you know, maybe even uh, pet food. There's all sorts of different uses for it. It doesn't mention it here, but you could put food waste in an anaerobic digester, breaking it down and using the heat to heat homes with, using the methane to power homes with. And then when it's done breaking down, you got some nice good compost, you can grow more food with it. So there are a lot of opportunities for making money with wasted food. Maybe you aren't going to be repurposing it. There's a restaurant in Philadelphia that takes some leftover chicken parts from a chicken factory and makes soup out of it. Sells it to rich people and then takes the profit from that and gives it to a soup kitchen. There's all sorts of ways that you can help reduce food waste. One of the benefits is, of course, hopefully less hunger in the world. The name of this organization, Champions123, is about the sustainable development goal of reducing food waste by half by the year 2030. Certainly an admirable goal and more power to them. There's a lot of reasons why it's important. One out of nine people are hungry, maybe one out of seven, depending on how you measure it. And we waste about one out of three calories that we produce. We cut that in half. Well, we almost have enough food to feed those hungry people. It just comes down to making sure that they have the resources available to grow, process, ship, and consume their own local food. So we're not shipping and wasting energy, shipping food around the world. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to link to this article in the description as well as their detailed report. And uh, those are in the description. If you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.